Let's say one day you met a person who has achieved enlightenment and you could ask this person three questions, any questions you want, what would they be? Mine would probably be, uh, what is the meaning of life? Why is Kim Kardashian a celebrity? What happens after you die? So we all die. That's something we all have in common. I mean, as soon as you're born, the countdown begins. If you think about it, birthdays, the day you celebrate and uh, eat cake, they're just markers to your eventual death. Of course, different religions and beliefs talk about what happens after you die, and the options are basically heaven, hell, reincarnation, or you're just dead. Usually science, which if you think about it, is itself a belief system. You just die. Nothing else happens. You're in the ground and you're warm food. But now a scientific study supports the notion that there may actually be life after death. Researchers at the University of Southampton conducted the largest ever medical study into near-death and out-of-body experiences and has discovered that some awareness may continue even after the brain has shut down. Researchers spent four years examining more than 2,000 people who suffered cardiac arrest at 15 hospitals in the UK, US, and Austria. And they found that nearly 40% of people who survived described some kind of awareness during the time when they were clinically dead before their hearts were restarted. One man even recalled leaving his body entirely and watching his resuscitation from the corner of the room. Despite being unconscious and dead for three minutes, the 57-year-old social worker from Southampton recounted the actions of the nursing staff in detail and described the sound of the machines. Dr. Sam Parnia of the State University of New York, who led the study, says that we know the brain can't function when the heart has stopped beating, but in this case, conscious awareness appears to have continued for up to three minutes into the period when the heart wasn't beating, even though the brain typically shuts down within 20 to 30 seconds after the heart has stopped. The man described everything that had happened in the room, but importantly, he heard two bleeps from a machine that makes a noise at three minute intervals, so we could time how long the experience lasted for. He seems very credible, and everything that he said had happened to him had actually happened. Of the 2060 car cardiac arrest patients studied, 330 survived, and of 140 surveyed, 39% said they had experienced some kind of awareness while being resuscitated. Although many could not recall specific details, some themes emerged. One in five said they had felt an unusual sense of peacefulness, while nearly one third said time had slowed down or speeded up. Some recalled seeing a bright light, a golden flash, or the sun shining. Others recounted feelings of fear, or drowning, or being dragged through deep water. 13% said they had felt separated from their bodies, and the same same number said their senses had been heightened. Dr. Parnia believes many more people may have experiences when they are close to death, but drugs or sedatives used in the process of resuscitation may stop them from remembering. I want to share a story with you guys. I actually had a near-death experience once. I still remember this clear as day. I was probably, I think, six years old. Me and a friend were playing outside our apartment complex in China, and our apartment complex was right next to this freeway. So we were playing, and there was this bully from school. He always uh, picked on us and picked fights with us and threatened to beat us up. So he saw us and started to run towards us. So me and my friend, we panicked. So we dash across this freeway with all this traffic going across. I mean, we didn't even watch out for cars. We just ran across this freeway running for our lives. Then we make it across the road. Then we saw that the bully has also crossed the road and he's still coming towards us. So then we decided to run back. And I remember it was kind of dark at this point and uh, all I see are headlights just like wheezing by. And then we started to run across the road again, again, not looking out for cars. As we were running, uh, I got scared and I hesitated for two seconds. And at that moment, I felt myself get smacked by something. And then I feel myself flying through the air and then bouncing on the ground. It's not like the ground was a trampoline. It's concrete. The force threw me on the ground so hard I bounced. While this was happening, like to me, everything was kind of happening like in slow motion. Because as I was cruising through the air, I remember seeing my friend who had already uh, crossed the road and I saw him pointing and laughing at me. I asked him later like why was he laughing because you know that's not funny. He said it was because I flew so high. 
yeah, that kid has problems. So anyway, I hit the ground and the whole time I remember feeling no pain. Actually, I felt kind of calm and peaceful. Uh, I didn't even cry. I was six years old. I didn't even cry. Then I remember people standing over me and then people saying uh, that they should take me to the hospital. And at that moment, all I could think about was that I needed to go home. So I actually get up on my own and I tell everybody, I'm like, I, I'm gonna go, I gotta go home. So the person who hit me and he was driving a truck and he was freaking out because he was like, oh, let me take you to the hospital. We gotta get you checked out. Because he saw me fly through the air. That's not normal. But I was like, nah, I'm okay, I'm okay. It's all good, we're fine. I just wanna go home. So uh, I went home and it wasn't until I was laying in bed that night that when this whole episode just kind of dawned on me and then I started crying and I was wailing I was like mom I was just hit by a truck but then my mom starts freaking out and then she takes me to the hospital and they check me out and nothing like a couple of scratches that was it there was nothing else wrong with me so anyway that was my near-death experience story that I want to share with you guys and I definitely believe that there's life after death I don't buy that we just die you know, I believe in reincarnation. I believe in karma and cultivation, like cultivating yourself to a higher consciousness, basically Buddhism principles. But anyway, let me know what you guys think about this study. Do you believe that there is life after death? And if you have any near death experience stories, please share them with us either in the comments below or I have a new Facebook page. So uh, post it on the Facebook page. Thanks so much for watching guys. See you later.